Hey there, greetings from Northern Ontario. Brad and I are just about to head out on a little canoe trip. And by little, I mean short. I think this weekend we'll paddle a total of, oh, maybe five or six kilometers. So this is not gonna be one of our epic trips. Uh, however, uh, we only have the weekend, we wanted to get away, and there's lots and lots of crown land up here. So we found a couple little lakes on the map. We're just gonna paddle in and do some exploring. We're just northeast of Timmins, Ontario, and we're about to embark on a small little backcountry canoe trip. It's pretty close to actually where I live, and I've been eyeing as a, a bit of a backyard backcountry canoe trip for a while. So Dad and I are about to paddle off on a chain of small little lakes, some short but uh, possibly steep portages, and then find a nice spot to, to camp for the night. Might do a bit of fishing, uh, but I think for the most part, we're just gonna hang out, enjoy this lovely spring weather, and uh, yeah, have a good trip of it. So we're about to get started, paddle down this lake and uh, find a bushwhack portage. Pretty mixed forest in here, though. Be nice when all this is leafed out. We got a mix of everything here, but there's some red pines and white pines up in there, which is pretty nice to see because we're kind of at the edge of the range. But there's a lot of spruce, fir, birch, and poplar, but really nice to see the big white and red pines in there. Actually, I don't see a lot of that around here. Very nice. Just cruising down this lake looking for a possible portage overland to a smaller lake and we've just come across this huge beaver lodge. I mean this thing is absolutely enormous. It's probably also very old. Looks kind of weathered there like it's been there for a while. If we didn't get out and walk around for a bit because it's uh it's somewhere around here is going to be the easiest spot. It might be flatter over there, but if there's a beaver trail, it might actually be pretty easy. Well, I'll check it out. Okay. We got lots of time. We've pulled ashore here by this beaver lodge. Brad's just screwed up the bank here to see if there's a, a viable route into the next lake. Ooh. No trail, but um, really open. So I don't think it's going to take a lot of work. There's a better flatter landing over there that we'll take and then we'll kind of go over the top, just up to the top and then right down. Other lake looks gorgeous. So yeah, almost there. Okay, let's do it. So it looks like there's a little beaver trail that leads up and over to the next lake. So we got all the gear here. Shouldn't be too far. Heading to the next lake is very scenic. Okay. okay, let's follow the beaver trail. See where it leads. Peter's out. So there's no real uh, trail here, we're just kind of 
making our way through the bush. Of course, uh, this time of year it's a little easier because you don't have all the growth yet. So you can kind of see what's ahead of you. But what we're going to do is take the packs over, uh, then come back maybe with our saws and clear a bit of the trail so it's easier to get the canoe over on the next trek. Okay. See the best way down to the lake. Okay, so it wasn't the straightest trek. We kind of wound around. Lots of little tiny trees getting in the way, but I think when we go back, we'll uh, do more of a straight arc that way. There's a lake down there, not too far. It's just a matter of uh, finding the easy way. So all this burnt like 10 years ago, so even if there were trails when there were, it's kind of gone because of the forest though. It's pretty open through here though. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think it's better than the way we came up. I think so too. It looks a little clearer. Minimal, just clear a few trees out of the way. Not much. You don't have to do much to it. And then get the canoe through. Yeah. Cut a few of the branches, put a bit of a uh, marker tape down, blaze it trail for next time we come through this way. Doesn't need to be really clear, just needs to get the canoe through. After a bit of looking up and down the lake, there's a lot of potential campsites, but we ended up coming to this, uh, must be used as an ATV trail. There's a bit of a rut down here and some exposed kind of sand where we can have a little fire pit. And it doesn't look like anyone's been down here in a while, so I'm hoping we'll have the place to ourselves, but this is where we'll spend the night. Got a few brewskis. Cheers. Good day, exploring a new route. Yeah. You can't I can't open mine. You can That's a problem with the selfie. I can't open it. Okay, look at that. All right. Okay. <laughs> cheers, right, bud. Cheers. Oh, that's refreshing. Excellent. Yeah, we're throwing one. Quite a few types of tents that use this. Yeah, my little uh, position. Right? You could do a lie down and then see what, like use both sides and see what the the best yeah, spot is. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, we get up at a, at a good time. Yeah, because, you know, I know you got to get back to your meeting, so.
Foot long hot dog. <laughs> Those I've, are heard a, I've heard a foot long, but come on, what is that? Holy this is bigger than what you get at like a, a baseball game for a ballpark dog. My that's, goodness. That's huge. This is their bun. Okay. But, but look at the bun to meat ratio. <laughs> I mean, some people would say that's an appropriate bun to meat ratio, but that's, that's two buns per one link. <laughs> Or four buns per one link, really. <laughs> That's a lot of food. I think we're having uh, sausages for breakfast. Whew. These things are hot. Some like it hot. <laughs> All right, wow. There's still a shit ton of sausage. <laughs> so, it's a lot. There's a lot of food. So I hope you're hungry. I am hungry. Let's dig in. Nice smoky flavor from the oh yeah fire there. So a great day out on this small chain of lakes. Uh, amazing dinner, nice sausages and grilled peppers. And uh, yeah, I did a bit of fishing out here to Trout Lake, tried a few different lures, uh, I didn't catch anything, but uh, we're gonna have a nice big fire and relax in the evening. Sun's just gone down over the horizon. You can kind of start to see some of those purple and red clouds drifting in. So should be a great night out here. About down to eight degrees tonight, so pretty mild for a nice spring night. In fact, it feels like July with these daytime highs in the high 20s, but uh, yeah, great little route. Really impressed with it, minimal effort, and we've had just a lot of time to chill and relax out here. A lot of lakes up here, eh? Yeah, and that's a great thing. I mean, you know, the Crown Land, like everywhere you look here, there's all these lakes. It's like, uh, you know, Crown property. You just gotta get out and explore. There's all these little roads that go back in and it's just amazing. You can find your own private little getaway and it's so easy. You just gotta, uh, you know, look on some maps, see what's out there and head out and explore. And there's no one out here. Like, it's great. It's quiet. You don't hear the highway. You just hear the night peepers. It's amazing. It, it's truly amazing. I feel sorry for all those people stuck in the city. This is just, it's another world and I love it.
Well, good morning. We had a good night's sleep. Uh, nice and comfortable. A uh, little bit chilly, but not too bad for this time of year. I woke today and nice sunrise coming up across the lake. Made ourselves some coffee and oatmeal just to warm ourselves up. That's a pretty little lake. Yeah, it's pretty nice. But you're right, once you leave small, you just have a whole different character. Exactly. It looks a little barren in parts right now. Yeah. But look at those poplars. These are like I know. from yesterday. Yeah, just on the, you know, the top. So, if you get all the light. Yeah, do you remember, um, 